Alright, what's going on folks? In my mug I got some lemon balm gently steeping. It's been a mellow morning so far. To start off, I shall say this is a pleasantly quaint nib and I've had it for a long time. It was once my late aunt's. I've had this one and another one. I seem to have misplaced the other one though. I haven't messed with dip pins all that much. I do find it pleasing though. You have to learn what the capacity of ink you can slather on your nib is. Other than that, you're golden, because if you get carried away, you could put yourself at a risk of blobs flinging down to wreak havoc and turmoil upon your masterpiece. Now, the one I'm using is an old Esterbrook. It's a medium size with an upward slanted nib tip. I find myself increasingly becoming a pen enthusiast. I am using ink for this drawing that I have produced myself with a stick and a bowl. And it's dark and just as deliciously black as licorice candy. All I had to do was just add a little water for my cap and then I applied some churning action and voila we have ink folks. You can find the process of scraping the ink stone against the bowl to be extremely tedious but the process of it does pay off in the end. The nib being vintage still works wonders too, despite its age. I decided to use my moleskin sketchbook for this doodle. Using the automatic drawing method, I ink onto the page. I've heard and seen many using this method as it is growing in popularity. I enjoy it thoroughly myself. The unconscious mind can speak whilst the artist slips into a meditative state of being. It's quite frankly fascinating if you ask me. There's just so much underneath that gets buried, emotions and energies that are present. There's always just so much going on and being able to lay down some ink on paper is a great way to therapeutically express yourself as well as to make something far out. Okay. 